What is up my friends, welcome back to your average gents, it's your boy Evan. In today's video, I want to talk about luxury watches, such as your Rolex Omega, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, etc. In the watch community, there are people who look down on affordable watch brands such as the Seiko, the Casio. There are people who also despise those who only collect luxury watches. But for me, I love both luxury and affordable watches because I think there are beauties in each category. But since today we are talking about luxury watches, I'm gonna give you my top three reasons to not buy a luxury watches and my top three reasons to buy a luxury watch. And make sure to stick until the end because I will be revealing to you what watch I'm wearing on my wrist. Without further ado, the very first reason why you should not get a luxury watch is if you cannot afford it. Sounds harsh, I know, but if that is the reality, then you gotta accept it. No one should go broke or even worse, get into debt just to get a watch. And as a matter of fact, nobody should go broke or into debt just to get anything that is not a necessity. And luxury watches, they are not necessity, right? They are, as the name suggests, they are a luxury. The famous rapper Jay-Z once said in an interview that you can't afford something unless you can buy it twice. And I have a similar philosophy, right? And that is to never buy something that you cannot afford to replace easily. The second reason you should not buy a luxury watch that is if you are buying it just to show off or just to seek attention i mean if that is your only purpose then i'm sure you can afford it and there's nothing i can say to stop you but you will be very disappointed to find out that actually not many people are watch enthusiasts most people either wouldn't know or they wouldn't care less about what watches you are wearing. And if you look at those really high-end, really luxurious timepieces, such as the Patek Philippe Nautilus and the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, you'll find that they are really understated. Although they look really elegant, but they also look really humble. There is nothing that shouts attention. So if you're buying them for the attention, you're not gonna get a lot of ROI. On to the third reason you should not buy a luxury watch, and that is if you're buying it just for the investment. Now, this is the controversial one, right? Because some people, they can buy watches and flip watches to make a fortune. And yes, it is cool that the watch you're buying will increase in value. But firstly, it is gonna be risky, right? And you gotta really know what you're doing. If not, you might even lose money. And secondly, you are totally missing out, man. Are you really gonna buy something that you're not gonna wear and it is just gonna sit inside a drawer or in a box? If you're just buying it for the sake of flipping, it to make a profit, I feel like it is a form of disrespect to the watchmaker. I wouldn't want to make something so that people can flip it. I want to make something that people can enjoy wearing it. That will bring a smile to their face every time they look at their wrists. Now, what are some of the reasons that you should get a luxury watch? You probably can already guess it. Reason number one, and that is if you can afford it. If it is such a small percentage of your wealth, you can easily get two if you want it. If you have worked really hard and money is not your concern, if you want to reward yourself, I say go for it, right? You have earned it. On to the second reason you should get a luxury watch, provided that you can afford it, and that is you love it! Simple as that. If you're not buying it just to seek attention, if you're buying it because you really enjoy looking at the beautiful timepiece on your wrist and you enjoy the history and the craftsmanship behind the watch, then I say go for it. You are gonna feel good, you're gonna feel confident wearing it on your wrist no matter if anyone notices it. On to the third reason you should get a luxury watch and that is if you wanna get it for a milestone or you wanna commemorate a significant event. It is important to reward yourself in these occasions so that you can push yourself even harder in the future. For example, when you hit your first million dollars or your business hit a certain milestone or when you're getting married or when you're having your first kid, in my opinion, it is these kind of special occasions that is the best reason to get a luxury watch. And you can even potentially pass it down to many, many generations as a piece of heirloom. On a 
side note, a bonus of getting a luxury watch, no matter if it goes up in value or not, is that most luxury watches, they will retain their values really well. When you wear it, it is also like a mobile cash card on your wrist. If you are in a foreign country and you lost your phone and your wallet and all your cash, you can easily go to any pawn shop to exchange for some emergency cash. So that is a plus. Okay, now is the time that we have all been waiting for and that is... So, did I get a Rolex? Some of you might have already noticed that the watch I'm wearing looks really really similar to the Rolex Day Date, also known as the Rolex President. Let me just take it off and reveal it to you guys with a closer look. Check this out. Oh man, it is not a Rolex. It is actually the Orient President's model number, SEV, whatever, whatever number, I'm not gonna read it. It is an homage watch for the Rolex Day Date, also known as the Rolex Precedence. That is why they look so similar. It has a diamond meter of 36mm, a classic dress watch size. It is the perfect size on most of the wrist sizes and it wears really comfortable on the wrist. What I find is that the smaller the diameter, the easier it's gonna wear on your wrist. A comparison to my SKX007, which can be a little heavy and distracting when I'm wearing it because of the size and the weight. But this, this is more comfortable. I don't even feel like I'm wearing it on my wrist after a while. It is 11mm thick, has a sapphire crystal which is great, a 100 meter water resistance resistance, has a day date complication, and a beautiful jubilee bracelet. Let me just put the Rolex and the Orient side by side for you to see the comparison. Wow, I mean they look really similar, you definitely won't be able to notice the difference from afar. Now many companies in the past has attempted to make a Rolex day date or much, such as the Seiko SGF206 and the Belova Super Seville. But I have to say that the Orient precedent is the best Rolex or much watch ever made. Now let's talk about homage watches, right? Because many people will say, no, you should never get an homage watch because it is not the real deal. But for me personally, I have no problems wearing an homage watch, right? As long as it is executed properly and they give it their own twist. It is a great way to have the same look without paying the hefty price tag that comes along with a luxury watch. Because most people won't care and won't even notice it anyway. Now I know many hardcore watch enthusiasts will this agree in the comments, but let's just agree to disagree, right? And let's agree that getting an homage watch is way, way better than getting a fake watch. People will respect an homage watch that is done well from a respectable brand, but nobody will respect a fake watch. Now let's talk about the price of this watch, I know you'll be interested. Well first of all, it has been discontinued quite a few years ago, but there are still some pieces left in the resale market. The retail price was around 200 USD when it first came out. I got it for 280 USD, a 40% markup, but it's selling for a much higher price in the resale market right now, depending on when you are watching it because this looks the most similar to the Rolex Day Date, right? Let's see, a Rolex Day Date costs around forty to $50,000, which is almost 200 times more expensive than the Orient. Does Rolex look better than the Orient? 100%. Does Rolex look better than the Orient 200 times? Probably not. At most, it looks, let's be generous, 10 times better than the Orient. That is still like 20 times more expensive. But that being said, will I get a Rolex? Absolutely, yeah. It is my dream watch, right? I'll get a Rolex when I earn my first million bucks. But right now, I am perfectly happy with my Orient. And that is basically it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to help your boy out and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified immediately when I drop a dope video like this. Once again, my name is Evan, you're watching Your Average Gens and I'll see each and every single one of you in my next video. Bam!